Welcome to the Freedom Chronicles. Definitely an antisocial type. Only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I perhaps you recognize me. It's your favorite president. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. We got a loud speaker here, and when we go into battle, we play music very loud. With a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Freedom Chronicles. I'm your host, Mike Ambassiani. Thank you for joining us. We are, of course, Broadcasting from the Brian Chapman State Farm bunker right here in Southwest Florida. And remember, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Yes. And so, Brian Chapman State Farm is there for all of the insurance needs that you have for your very own bunker. Give his office a call at 941 625 9998 or visit the office at 2040 Tamiami Trail in Port Charlotte. With us from his corner office, it is the ever lovable Ken Lovejoy. Ken, how are you, sir? I see. I, I'm really in, 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 see in my my office. This is my office right there. Yes, it's, almost, it's very nice. Yes, very nice. It's almost like I am. it's like the it's like the Blair Witch Project. The guy put, take hold, <laughs> picks up the camera, it's like, and it just starts running, and the camera just goes. Nuts. But that's a movie you've seen. I can't believe this. No, I haven't seen that. I just see you I haven't see seen the, that the No. Okay. <laughs> yes. Good day. It was a good. Good good morning this morning on the uh, on the radio morning. show. That was fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, what what's what's new in the last few hours? Anything fun and exciting? Uh well, uh, well let me see. When this this came out today. This was just uh, came up a little while. I guess we could call this breaking news. Breaking news. Okay, I just love hearing that. You should use yes. mine. Uh, with a few short, this from Breitbart, for, with a few short lived exceptions during the Reagan Bush era and after 9 11, more registered voters have identified as Democrats than Republicans. In fact, since about 20, 2003, more than 20 years already, Democrats have consistently outnumbered Republicans, some by, uh, as, sometimes as much as by 10 points. However, yeah. however, um, Currently, party ID sits at 49% Democrat, 48% Republican. Few points right. uh, out that the Democrat Party's advantages among Black and Hispanic voters have narrowed quite a bit in recent years. More Blacks, more Hispanics are identifying as Republican today than ever before. So that's optimistic good news going into Very good November. News. We applaud the good news. And we must remember that some of these people that are registered as Democrats either don't exist or they're dead. Yeah, or they're dead, yes. <laughs> or they did exist. So, yes. Uh, we have the report. Picture number 12, please, Ben. I meant to uh, mention this on the show last week, but End Wokeness uh, basically started blowing the whistle on this, saying, holy shit. The number of voters registering without a photo ID is skyrocketing in three key swing states, Arizona, Texas, and Pennsylvania. Since the start of 2024, Texas has 1.25 million. Uh, Pennsylvania has 580,000 and Arizona has 220,000. HAVV allows voters to register with a social security number, four digits. Illegals are not able to get licenses there but they can get social security yeah. cards for work authorization permits. So they're telling people to, uh, and Tim, Tim pool has been talking about this a lot. It's absolutely ri ridiculous because they're finding out that a lot of these people don't exist or they're, or they were dead yeah. and they need to clean up yeah. the voter rolls. They needed to clean up the voter rolls four years ago and they waited another four years for the next election cycle here. And they're still not going to do anything about it. Yeah, no. And are Republicans doing anything about it? No, other than they talking? need to blow the whistle more. Yeah, the, these are allegedly because they don't care. Republican the Uniparty doesn't give a shit. The Uniparty doesn't give a shit. And cocksucking commies are going to act like cocksucking commies, and they're going to cheat in the upcoming November election. And but they're going to have to cheat big. I mean, right now uh, you've got thirty-five percent of Hispanics identify as Republican. 
uh, now, well, yeah, because which is up. Real- that that's a that's that's yeah. a nine point gain on the Republican side, and twelve uh, percent of black voters identify as Republican, while 83% identify as Democrat. That's a five point gain that we've made on blacks. Now, right, if blacks- people who think, actually think, people actually think these actual Hispanics that are American citizens don't like the fact that they had to work extremely hard to get oh, yeah. their citizenship. And then- oh, yeah, they don't, like, they don't like illegals anymore. In fact, they probably like them less than I do because they're the ones that exactly. had to bust their ass and go through years of immigration processes and paperwork to be able to get their citizenship or just their legal green card. Well, these yeah. losers, these real serious losers, the dregs of society are yeah. marching up looking for a free right handout. Yep. Yeah, they're not looking to make the, the American dream come true for themselves. Look at them. Look at the way they act. They start bitching as soon as their uh, uh, ATM card runs dry and they want more or they don't like their hotel accommodations or the Venezuelans. How dare you, Eric Adams, mayor of New York City, give me a Venezuelan illegal alien a work permit? I'm not yes, working. So You're paying for me. You're giving work. me money. They're just, they're yeah, scum. Exactly. I'm sorry. There are no, there might be one or two good ones, but for the most part, everything I'm seeing coming across that Southern border sucks and is not yes. worthy of American freedom. Or well, American and allegedly, citizenship. allegedly, yeah. And allegedly uh, over there at Eagle Pass, where they were getting thousands of uh, people crossing daily, uh, it has gone down to 12 but uh, a day but well, if they're coming in somewhere 12, else <laughs> yeah well they are but if or, if, if or biden trying to, 12, to shut the border biden might be trying to shut the border down to uh, make his election look good before he ramps it up again well but if if it gets down to 12 a day why can't it be zero because you would think 12 is a little more manageable than the 1500 to 1200 a day that would just shove past them and and run I just, you know, it uh, it's being done deliberately. They could stop it if they want to, but they don't want to because they're all traitors and they're anti-freedom. They're anti-American. It's all about power and money for them and cheap illegal alien labor and who they think are going to become Democrat voters is all they're looking for. Yes. They don't care if these people just, starve to death once they cross over the border. They don't care if these rat bastards ever get a job. They just want yeah. them to uh, uh, use their vote and to, uh, uh, they're nothing but cogs in the wheel of the Cloward Piven strategy that the Dems are, are just uh, uh, letting run loose. And the border is part of the Cloward Piven, just underwhelm them, overwhelm them with chaos. Yeah, and that's all it is, is creating chaos. Speaking of chaos, uh, January 6th here, the uh, CIA agent says the FBI was present at the Capitol riot. Now, we saw this uh, This oh, guy was that. caught. I love... Oh, of course we do. Uh, it's just it's just fun that... Confirmation. Uh, it. Yes, confirmation. How did the... And it, this guy's such a good... You, you know, uh, this blows me away. I mean, look at this schlub and what he just I know. just willingly gives up the information. How does he well, not know who thing. he's talking to? How does he not How know he, who he's talking to? <laughs> I know. How does he not know who he's talking to? And then it's like uh, people were saying, if, he, if you're on a date with somebody, why do you go through the extent of, oh, yeah, we destroyed Alex Jones. It's so much, you know, it's so great. We, you know, we, yeah. Well, he's the last couple of these ones that he's gone on yeah. seem to be like gay pickups. Well, this you know, was like not these guys. This was, was this a, James you, O'Keefe? You sure? How did this? I don't. I didn't see the whole thing yet. I just read about yeah. it, so I don't know how he even, you know, got him well, to this start wasn't divulging. James this. O'Keefe. This. This was. Oh, it was. Uh, no, this was a video released by Sound Investigations. This was a separate oh. undercover journalist group. So we applaud them. There's yeah. more than just there's more than just James O'Keefe now uh, doing That's this good. sort of thing, but uh, so Gavin O'Blennis is a contracting officer for the CIA uh, 
and he said upwards of 20 FBI agents were present among the crowd at the Capitol riot on January 6th. And Oblenis, uh, who previously worked for the FBI from 2021 to 2022, uh, said government agencies, quote, could put anyone in jail if you know what to do. Oh, yeah. Excuse exactly. me. Did you say 2020? He only worked for them for a year. Right. And he worked, he's, he's bounced around a little bit. They they looked at what he actually did. Um, I don't have that one here, but he, he worked for the CIA, he worked for the FBI. And before that he worked for the VA as well. So people are saying like, who, you know, what did this guy actually know? And allegedly in the video, he goes on to say, well, he knows people who were embedded on january 6th so that's that's how he knew more so than him actually being directly involved it made Uh, it sound like he's just a secretary you know and that's the thing is if he's on this date with a guy or a girl whatever it's it's like why is he spilling this information and and well uh, if if it's if it's a date if it's a date he's trying to impress this individual yeah, but what does? Oh, yeah, I know the that there were twenty FBI guys embedded in in January sixth. Why does that impress a date? You know. Oh, yeah, I know that the FBI was able to cripple Alex Jones and make him go bankrupt. That's not, you know, that's not. Oh, I've got twenty uh, classic cars and I have a lot of money. That's not. It's not impressive. Well, but it, it it it's it's the highlight of this guy's life is his big his big law enforcement career, and it makes him feel tough and proud, and he and it it gives him power and prestige to make this person that he's talking to think that he has all this inside information and that he's a powerful individual. There's I that, think but it's also ego looking that, at him, ego that made him do it. But it's that I think it's ego. I also think it's guilt. I, I think these people, like, because there are a lot of ordinary people involved in the government that have been involved in January 6th and whatnot. I think, and somebody pointed this out, that it could be guilt because they need to f- tell somebody what they've seen, what they've been involved with, because they deep down know it might be wrong that they are trying to bankrupt Alex Jones. So he says it to somebody in hopes that they come back and say, oh, well, you're just you're just an American hero. It's amazing what you do for the country. Thank you. You know, they need that pat on the back for their ego, but because deep down they feel the guilt of their wrongdoing, you hope anyway. Maybe. You never know. Or maybe he was just bragging. (laughs) (laughs) But overall, obviously, again, because of the ego, because of the work James O'Keefe does, because of the work that uh, these sound investigations is doing, good things are coming out of it because these morons just can't keep their mouth shut. (laughs) And we're finding out the truth from these low-level idiots that uh, honestly shouldn't know anything about anything, but they've been involved in these horrible things. And luckily, this is how the uh, truth is coming to light and hopefully it continues. Well, Alex Jones is going to be, based on that guy's video, Alex Jones is gearing up to sue the feds now. Yeah, and uh, granted, it's a government lawsuit, which means it's going to be stonewalled and going to take forever, but... Uh, He'll never get discovery. (laughs) Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, But hopefully, hopefully uh, something comes out of it. Well, so... uh, uh, Go ahead. Yeah, no, you go ahead. Well, I'm 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 changing the subject. Okay, we have a delay. Yes. Sorry, folks. And that subject the is the Navy. What's going on with the Navy there, Ken? Oh, dude, the same thing that's going on with all the branches of the service. They're fucked up. I know. Because they're so, ran uh, by a bunch of pussies. A bunch of the, the officers corps. In the United States military, across the board, I don't care what branch of service you're talking about, the officer's corps that we have in the U.S. military today is the worst, collectively, the worst bunch of Marxist pussies I've ever had the displeasure of shaking hands with in meeting. There's, again, 
maybe a handful of good ones, but what are they doing? They're staying under the radar and not saying anything until retirement. The rest of them are just a bunch of, a bunch of woke bitches. And I know what you're going to do. You're going to throw up that picture of that douchebag CEO of the McCain who doesn't know yes. how to how to properly fire an M16 and the gunner's mate who gave him that weapon probably needs to be up on dereliction of duty charges yes. well, for here's putting the, the scope on backwards. So, <laughs> and you said conspiracy theory of the day here. Yeah. So here's the picture and here's what's wrong with it. First of all, why is your elbow all the way out there, buddy? Come on. Little, little, little better marksmanship. Uh, second of all, the scope is on backwards. Yes. And, and the conspiracy theory of the day is that the gunner's mate did that on purpose just to see if the commanding officer here would notice and whether he did or not, they wanted that photo op. And some people well, are saying, in that you know, picture, he wouldn't have noticed. Look at the way he's holding that weapon. Right. It's like he the last yeah, time they're the what they're doing backup. is when you're on deployment, uh, uh, you'll you'll get to fan fire off the tail of the ship. You'll get to fan yeah. fire an M16 like he's shooting. If you look over below him on that picture, you can see it looks like an M60. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, they're just they're just shooting at waves. You know, it's it's a familiarization yeah. exercise. So but nonetheless, look at the way he's holding that weapon. Even, yeah. The, the stock is look way the, too look high the up hand on the <laughs> Yeah, and the, the foregrip, he's got all the way close to the magazine. Like, that's, I don't think that is how you're supposed to use it, my friend. No, that should be forward a little bit more. Yeah, and but the biggest thing. The, the scope, scope is, is even, exactly. yeah, but the scope is, that's the big thing right there. How, how do you yeah. not catch that? And look, mm -hmm. he's got, it looks like he's even got the end cap on the front. No, nah, he probably doesn't because he is looking through the rear. The rear doesn't yeah, have he's a, a cap through on it. it. But, but somebody I, said that there was a cap on the front, but I, I can't really see that. I don't know. But again, he it's then, just stupidity. It's just yeah, stupidity, and, 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 and they removed it. But again, uh -huh. you know. <sighs> and it just encompasses what the military is and what the higher-ups is. It's, it's vanity. It's stupidity. Yeah, incompetence. Yeah. The U.S. military, sadly, is becoming nothing but a bunch of body bag fillers because I, I, uh, I fear for the lives of our enlisted personnel when douchebags yeah. like that are leading leading them. Because it, look yeah. across the board, what are we seeing? Accidents, missteps, miss ups, uh, uh, mess ups that are are costing lives and causing yeah. accidents. Look at all the helicopters and planes that we've been losing in training exercises. Yeah. And uh, it's not 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 a good look, not a good thing. And hopefully we got to get uh, Trump back in office so we can get our military back in shape because Lloyd Austin and the entire Joint Chiefs of Staff, again, cowards, traitors, a bunch of woke douchebags who aren't looking out for their enlisted men. They're not mission ready. They're worried about a bunch of, again, Marxist woke DEI bullshit that's only going to yeah. wind up getting people killed. Exactly. And uh, speaking of the government, uh, Trump says kill FISA as the lawmakers consider the surveillance reauthorization here. Oh, and uh, he he a new one on that. Out, oh, yes. Uh, Trump truthed out kill kill FISA. It was illegally used against me and many others. They spied on my campaign. And he's right. And I think it needs to go away. And yes, you have uh, you have some news on that, right? Yeah, Congress uh, from the Gateway Pundit, the House of Representatives is finalizing the bill to continue their warrantless spying on us American citizens, but appears just like everything else, they exempt themselves from it. It appears oh, yeah. the House is ready to pass this forward, even after the federal government was caught illegally spying on Trump and got away with it. Uh, Tom Massey reported Monday that Congress gave itself a carve out in the reauthorization of the warrantless spying. The FBI will have to notify Congress and seek consent before violating the member of Congress, but they don't give two yeah. fucks about you and me. They can violate us right. all they want. And that's what a bunch violate. of thugs, a bunch of commie tyrant thugs that your government has become the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA, Department of Homeland Security, nothing but a bunch of fucking pussy communists, all of them, all of them, one and all. Yes. Yep. 
and Johnson is doing nothing to Stonewall it. He's just agreeing to let it. I don't know. He's been compromised. They found him with the little boys yeah. or something. They got pictures of him with farm animals or something. I don't know, but uh, they they he went from being against all of this to being all for it. So yeah. they got to it. So what they happened? Got to you know exactly he's a what happened. He's a pussy and he's a coward, just like the douchebags that are putting all this on us. And let's not remember who's supposed to be uh, overseeing the FISA court and making sure that this shit doesn't happen. John Roberts. Uh, yeah, John Roberts. Yeah. Yeah. So we, and which we what all know. He's with these, with these, cat, with these just gutless pussies uh, at the top, we're fucked until we get rid of them. And the only way to get rid of them is to get Trump elected so we can unload them all. Yes. It's a long way to November. Now, more than ever, we need Trump. So we'll see what happens with FISA, but I, I, I hold my breath for nothing. No, no, um, don't. He'll cave. Rogers will cave. The House will cave and pass it. Yeah, and even and there'll be holdouts, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Massey, Biggs, and, you know, a few. But the rest of them will just matter. go along to get along. Because yeah, yeah, the rest of the pussies will just go along with it. I know Stubby yes. will, he'll, our congressman, he won't, he'll vote no, but the rest of them will because they're cowards. Has there been, right. And speaking of cowards in Congress, has there been any updates as far as Congress men and women talking about releasing the J6ers in the gulags here? Have, have they done anything? When have you heard, uh, other than, again, just occasionally and for a quick little talking point, when do you hear yeah. any discussions about J6 prisoners from, Repu from Republicans at all? You're never going to hear never. that conversation yeah. with Democrats. But the Republicans, yeah. it's just nary, just a couple of phrases every here, every well, now that, and again that was to another thing. try and that, pacify that was us. Thing. Yeah, that was another thing that Johnson came out and was talking about. Oh, we'll release the tapes, and they they did that, and then there's been nothing, absolutely nothing. They no, they yeah, but he didn't do more. They could have released more. <laughs> they could have done more. Oh yeah, but again, they always again, do more, but they choose not. When to. you have when you have just uh, just gutless cowards who are so easily manipulated by the intel community or so easily intimidated by the intel community. Yeah. How do we make any headway? How do we get ahead when the people that we trust or the people that we elect to take care of these problems wind up cowering to these KGB type sons of bitches? Yeah, they don't. How do we how do we get ahead? They don't care about the people that elected them mainly because a lot of them were put in office anyway, not even elected. And when they get more and more illegals across the border to vote for them anyway, on the Democrat side anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Republicans. It does, it does kind of does kind of make one, depending on your point of view, look forward to the Civil War. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's talk about that real quick. Okay, here is the map for the A24 film Civil War coming out. It comes out this week. See, that's why it's bullshit. Later. I know. <laughs> I know. Because the, the fact Western that... Forces Sorry, the Western forces, Idaho and Montana and Wyoming, mm -hmm. yes. You're not going to see, uh, I mean, you, you're going to see, it's going to be Washington, Oregon, and California, and that's all going to be yeah. red forces. That's going to be all the commies. I mean, right. the Florida Alliance, I can kind of see that. But, I mean, the rest yeah. of that, I mean, it's just bullshit. <laughs> I know. But it's funny to <laughs> it's me. <just> <laughs> It's a movie. It's a movie. I know. It's a fucking I, movie. I am interested. In, I am interested in seeing it. I, I plan on seeing it actually. Um, but I I think there's the other conversation of we are as a nation becoming ungovernable. We 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 joked about that over a year ago on this podcast. I've that's how we should be. That's how we should be. Yeah. Because That's how we should be. Ungovernable. You are not this. you as a pussy, wimp, little Democrat, bureaucrat, are not going to be able to dictate shit to me. You think you yeah. can, 
but I will not. And that's what it's coming to. You cannot tell me that the more that this nonsense goes on and the more I even heard a soundbite of Biden from yesterday or today, he sounds like a, a it's it's horrifying. He's a feeble old man. Would you hear today? Sounds today. Today he was, was telling people yeah, what, what he did when he taught in law school. He, he, he was saying today, <laughs> lying today, telling about how he taught the Second Amendment in law school because they're asking him, how do you think you're going to be able to uh, do all these executive actions on guns in the Second Amendment like he's yeah. Johnny Badass? Mm-hmm. And, he, and he's taught and he, he blatantly lies. And of course, of course. the uh, reporter didn't call him on it at all. No, because it's the emperor has no clothes. It, it's it's so ridiculous that and people the left has lost their mind. Not that they, they really ever had one, but they've lost their mind so much that they just don't care that he just blurbs out these lies that, and that nobody fact checks that nobody will hold him accountable for. Well, they don't but want the to fact idea check is that No, they don't. But the idea of He's a if Democrat. you're in Tennessee, they don't get fact checked. Yeah, if you're in Tennessee or, or some rural middle of nowhere and the feds come by knocking on your door and they're in your little town and that, that town's just going to go, eventually the town's just going to go, we don't recognize you. And when you have the left and the Democrats that were that were the useful idiots for Biden, for the Democrat establishment and the Uniparty, the Republican establishment, too, and they were used in 2020 and up till now as the rioters, the instigators to get people to just continue to cause problems and cause the unrest and and helped get Biden in there. They don't like Biden anymore especially when you're seeing these pro-Palestinian, pro-Gaza uh, protesters, they hate Biden. AOC is coming out saying you should do the, um, what is it? I have it. I have it here. I want to, I want to get the, uh, it, AOC encourages Democrats to embrace the uncommitted votes against Biden. So AOC doesn't want Biden. Who's their choice? Lawlessness, uh, anarcho tyranny, because that's what we're going to have. We're going to have the left who doesn't, who doesn't uh, recognize the government because they hate Biden and wants to just do their own thing because they don't see past, you know, two hours from now uh, and they just live their life, you know, dancing on a bridge, going nuts, you know, doing their, their uh, anarchy of breaking into uh, Best Buy, stealing televisions. Then you have the actual establishment and the uniparty that wants to just control everybody and have the elite and the serfs. And then you have the conservatives and the Republican side that just keeps going along with the federal government because we go, oh, well, it's the rules. We just have to follow the rules and hope that we get our guy in there. But eventually conservatives are going to have enough of it. And then we'll go where the left started with (laughs) and do our own thing. And how does a country continue? It's well, a we'll still have war state and local government. We that. don't. My, I suggest to you, we don't need federal government at this point. You never know. You don't need the federal government for shit, particularly this federal government. We still have right, state and local government. They have proved that they and, are and useless. And that's what I suggest a lot of states start doing if if it keeps going this way. Unload. Yeah. Just to say, look, we don't. The feds have no jurisdiction here. You can go fuck yourself. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what's going to happen. And you're going to have uh, local government and you vote and you vote with your feet. You know, if you want to live in, a, in uh, the tyrannical, you know, government of you have the feds and, and you think the feds will take care of you. Fine. Move closer to D.C. Move to, to New York. But even New York, that's what I'm talking about. New, York, New York and York, California yeah. are are sanctuary states. They're not following they're bleeding, the federal they're law. Bleeding people. They're bleeding right. normal people. Yes. So you're going to have those three factions. You're going to have the lawless left of, uh, you know, we're all just members of the world. Then you're going to have the elite uh, feds uh, with the elites in the serfs where they just want to have the power. They'll have the military. They can't actually have an economy, so they take everything by force. And then you have the conservatives <laughs> who want local, they have the military. normal Ooh. <laughs> They, they don't. Whoa, gee, be still my heart. They got the military. Yeah, what percentage of that military is going to turn on them? 
I suggest right, right yeah, now a large, still a large percentage of the enlisted population will turn on those motherfuckers as they should. But yeah, but you're right. You know, uh, I, the whole thing to me is that it, the left today these aren't tough, serious fighters. These are intellectual pussies who have fat wallets, but are just a bunch of wimps. And they all expect that their security is going to do their job for them. And again, I suggest to you that their security is going to eventually look at these pussies and go, what do we need you for? And they're, and they're toast. They're gone as yeah, they should be. They should. I am, that I am that would be now. the perfect scenario. I hope they film it. But in the meantime, we're stuck with the douchebags like uh, yeah. Representative Jasmine Crockett, Democrat from Texas, who's suggesting now that black Americans should be exempt from paying taxes as a form of yeah. reparations. But she said it might not work because of the black people who aren't paying taxes in the first place. Oh. Yeah, that might be a problem. Ah. <sighs> And well, the uh, left. Oh, go ahead. Why? Well, this just popped into my head. Why do they go out of their way to call us racist when they so obviously uh, are, are, are? They're the ones who segregate themselves. She was talking on the yeah. Black Lawyers podcast. I've been getting inundated with emails from the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. You know, if there you was, know, a, if somebody really even just asked for and said, hey, "Why do we have a Congressional White Caucus?" They would shit themselves. You know, you get these emails for potential guests all the time. You really mm -hmm. should just let one of them on the show. Just, just, and then just let them go through their whole thing and then just destroy them. They would hang it up, would be but it would be so much fun. It would be so much fun. It would be fun, but there would be backlash. <laughs> Yes. And I well, and I really I just don't have the temperament. Fifteen years ago, I could have entertained that idea, but I'm so goddamn sick of leftists at this point. I I uh, unless it's unless it's one of my liberal friends that wants to come yeah. on the show and we can have a nice discussion. I'm not going to entertain these douchebags that are trying to push books. You know, and they're no. those friends are imaginary. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, you see that shirt right there? I'm wearing that shirt right now, and you too can wear that shirt because that's what we're in right now. We're in we're in a war whether you want to believe it or not, and it was the mugshot heard around the world. You can also get that shirt. You get that shirt, you get the war shirt, and you get Freedom Cow because who doesn't love Freedom Cow? And also, evil is powerless if the good are unafraid. All these great shirts splintered the CIA into a thousand pieces. If not us, who? If not now, when? And Freedom Cow. You can't get enough of Freedom Cow. I'm working on the new design. Uh, the Freedom Chronicles shop. Use that QR code. Use the link down in the description. And Terribly get sorry, loud I, I, locally. I do it before we go to music. I do have some breaking news regarding what we've talked oh. about. Hold on. Break. What is the there you go. News, sir? Yes. House conservatives, this from uh, uh, the Epoch Times, House conservatives on April 10th tanked a procedural vote to advance a surveillance power reauthorization bill in protest of its lack of warrant requirements. Uh, the development is another blow to Speaker Johnson. Good. Uh, you, very this good. was something you were all for initially. And now all of a sudden, Johnson, what's your problem? You're a little pussy now. Yeah. You're a little, you're a little know. tyrant pussy. Yeah. So I'm glad and that I'll we tell you what. had a, a 192 to 226. That was good. There you go. And uh, folks, we've told you about the app Bill Blaster. Now more than ever, get loud locally. Down, it's a free app. Download it. Free app Bill Blaster. You get the names, numbers, social media, and websites of every single person in Congress, congressmen and women, senators, governors, yeah. and their phone numbers. Call it allows them. you to do it allows you to do what uh, we've been asking people to do is it makes it so easy for you to get involved as a citizen. You can blast them all right seconds. there with one quick little Mike email. Johnson, blast right here. them with a text. Yep. Very easy to do. 
It, it allows you to get involved. So please download this app and start getting involved, folks. Yep. Because have one thing, you know, you might not think it, you might not think it helps, but lighten a fire, you know, thousands of people uh, uh, calling, texting, lighten a fire under the ass of their congressman yep. gets that congressman's notice. And yeah. they tend we to know that we have. We have good Congress people here in Florida, uh, Representative uh, Anna Paulina Luna, uh, Greg Stubbe, Byron Donalds, Matt Gates, But across the country, uh, little no-name congressmen and women that are going to go along with this FISA nonsense, call them. Call them and tell them you're being not an American here and not upstanding for the rule of law. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I'm just looking here at the they uh, the people you mentioned uh, are the ones who voted against this be bullshit and uh, yeah uh, uh, Gates voted against it Bobert Bishop Biggs Burchett uh, Nancy Mace Chip old Chipper Roy he's kind of a douche oh. but he did the right thing here uh, Clay Higgins he's a good one Corey well, and, Mills Scott and Perry so these, Greg Stubbe these people. Yeah, these people that voted the right way here, call them and and give them the good thank word. Them. Give them, yeah, yeah, thank them for doing the right thing. Know that you have their back as well, because that means a lot to them too, I'm sure. So get loud locally, folks. And that also means by sharing this show. Share the show with your friends, because that's the only way this show grows, is we got to work on this viewership. And that comes from you comes from you sharing the show with your friends, with people you like, well, people you don't like. It also comes from us doing something that's worth the shit, too. <laughs> Just saying. We're having a we gotta conversation put out a good show about the things going on. We work hard to make sure we got a good show going on for you out there. So now it's your job. Share it with everybody, with everybody you know about the fun things that are coming, like fun civil wars and different factions. We just narrowed it down. There's going to be three of them. Which one Not you going to be civil in? War. Just the fun civil war. The fun civil war. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'll, I'll save it for after this. Anyway, uh, it's time for some music. And yes, if you're watching this on YouTube, <laughs> frankly, we're shocked. And uh, like the episode, comment down below, subscribe on YouTube, and then take it over to Rumble. Make sure you subscribe on the Rumble page, like it on Rumble, comment down below, share the Rumble link with your friends. That's what you want to do. And then right next to that subscribe button is a little red button that says join. You hit that, you join our locals community, and you get fun uh, bottom of the stack videos of uh, some stories we just don't really get to uh, during the regular show. So check that out, and you can share that with your friends. As well, also subscribe to the podcast on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio. And uh, I, I see you guys watching on BitChute and Brighty on, so thank you for watching on there. Subscribe on there as well. That's how the show grows. We greatly appreciate it. So enjoy. <clears throat> this was from our, our latest time over at the Twisted Fork. Enjoy my band, Mike and Bassie Henning, as blues rockers playing little back in the USSR. <laughs>
There you go. Back in the USSR. Yeah. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Nobody yells at me anymore. It's amazing how uh, how people care about that Ukraine allegedly. Yeah. People oh yeah. Figured it out. We're the bad guys oh, yeah. in that scenario. <laughs> Why is it that most DEI dumb heads... evil idiots? Yes. yes. Well, the, but the heads of these departments, why are they all fat black women? <laughs> the majority of them seem to be anyway. Last week, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, who's a complete piece of lying shit and doesn't, if you look at his face, doesn't even believe what he's saying or reading. He announced remember, the appointment of... Remember when, remember when Biden was on Air Force One and Blinken was behind him, like in the doorway and just how sad Blinken looked? Remember that one? He was just he's like, always got that, yeah, that wide-eyed, sad look like he's like he's being forced to do what he's doing. <laughs> you know, blink <laughs> well, twice I mean, if really. you're under duress. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what, what were you saying? <laughs> he, uh, uh, well, Blinken appointed uh, Zakia Carr Johnson as the State Department's Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer. Uh, she had previously called American uh, America a failed historic model and demanded the destruction of traditional structure at every juncture. What is this bitch doing anywhere near a position in government? Yeah, uh, but I mean, are Again, you surprised? Diversity ho. Every, every, She's not, ain't nothing but a diversity ho who hates America. A racist, Every another G, G, another racist, America-hating Democrat. Gosh, what a fucking cliche. Every step of the way, they just put somebody in there that doesn't care. Why is there... And that doesn't you know, know their cross, job. Yeah, yeah. Why is there a cross-dressing twink uh, head of nuclear waste, you know, uh, who steals women's luggage for their clothes, you know? Oh, ah, ah, ah! Nobody wants to see that. Large Marge. Large America-hating Marge. <laughs> yes, there you go. Uh, that will so gracefully segue us into our patriot and traitor of the week. Uh, so, Ken, who is your patriot of the week? Wow. You know, I, I always Good. think you're going to ask me traitor first, so that's who I'm thinking. Right. <laughs> You go first. <laughs> okay. My my yeah, patriot of the week goes out to the lectern guy, Adam Johnson. We're going to give it to the lectern guy. <laughs> what he, is he, is he selling donated, more lect small lectern? He's donating another one. Yes, he has donated another miniature lectern for auction in support of fellow January 6th participant Rebecca Lavrens. Now, Lavrens, also known as the praying grandma, uh, after being seen praying outside the Capitol, was convicted on four counts of entering the Capitol on January 6th, uh, including entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct and disruptive conduct. Oh, yeah, praying is real disruptive. Uh, in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in a Capitol and parading, demonstrating or picketing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, she's 72 years old and remained in the federal building for a total of 10 minutes and briefly spoke with one Capitol Police officer prior to leaving. So she faces federal misdemeanors up to $210,000 in fines and one year in prison for her presence at the Capitol on January 6th. So Adam Johnson, the lectern guy who went viral because of the meme of him uh, holding the lectern, uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi's lectern, and smiling as he was walking through the Capitol, uh, has a charity auction it's currently up on ebay for a, a another handmade lectern that he made and signed himself it's currently up to 153 dollars and all the proceeds uh will go to rebecca laverins's uh give send go so she was just convicted in the dc court for walking around and so any bit of money help towards that is greatly appreciated and it's patriots like him continuing to do the right thing and help raise money in a good way for these people who are still being railroaded by their wonderful government. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you on that. Thank you. So who's your Patriot? I'm going to have to go with Elon. Elon again. Okay. Mr. Mr. Musk. Yes. Uh, 
And that's what he's basically said to this uh, tyrannical uh, uh, Brazilian oh, Brazil? oh, Supreme Court Justice, uh, Alexandre de Moraes, this bald fuck, he, uh, yes. who's been demanding that uh, Musk start censoring people on ESC, uh, on X, and Musk said, no, I'll just take down, you know, I'll just take it down in Brazil, just like he did in uh, right. Europe. I guess uh, yes. forget what that. So uh, I I like it. Uh, I, he I still it's still weird. He's still kind of an enigma, but I like the fact that he appreciates free speech enough to where he's not going to let anybody tell him what to do with his platform and and censor people. Yeah, even though Good there's still him. strangely enough some censor and shadow banning and stuff like that oh, going yeah. on there. You mean an old white <laughs> dude? No, not of me. I've only had one. You know, I'm pretty much saying everything that I used to say on Facebook when Facebook deplatformed me. I'm saying everything right. on X that I've, uh, you know, in the same expletive filled way that I said on Facebook. And uh, yes. I'm, I'm just getting more followers. Good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so. So I so I can appreciate what he's doing on X, but at the same time, I also am well aware of the fact that you've got some little gay liberal government twink uh, watching and logging everything I say. But guess what? I don't fucking care. Yes, we know. <laughs> <laughs> so my uh, so I'll do my uh, trader of the week first, uh, and I, I agree. I think Elon's doing well, and I, I think that Don Lemon interview certainly. Uh, sealed it um bon but, bon. so my However, he did it he, did you see that last with the uh the so-called christian pastor in israel who basically sides with hamas tucker had oh. did a 45 minutes with him the other day and i'm like why the hell did you do 45 minutes with this douchebag yeah <laughs> he's not very christian and he's very hamas supporting <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's not good. Um, no. My trader of the week, I'm going to give it to uh, San Francisco, and I uh, we you talked about this earlier a little a uh, little bit, but I want to build on it some more. San Francisco bill would allow residents to sue grocery stores that close without giving notice. You know, it's fine if you close because business isn't there, but if you don't give us notice, well, then you're you're we're just going to sue you. You're going to owe us a lot of money. So officials want six months notification before stores permanently shut their doors. Just once again, another thing that uh, makes Scat Francisco such a wonderful place. Uh, they've put forward a plan allowing city residents, it's the city residents, to sue the grocery stores that close without providing six months notice. So the Neighborhood Grocery Protection Act was introduced by Scat Francisco Board of Supervisors member Dean Preston and A. a. Ron Peskin. The bill is based on a similar proposal approved by the Board of Supervisors in 1984, but was struck down by then mayor Diane Feinstein. If passed, any store that closes without giving notice to the Board of Directors and Office of Economic and Workforce Development would be able to sue for damages. The bill also requires grocery stores to meet and work in good faith with neighborhood residents and the OEWD to explore solutions to keep the store open. So once again, just get around that. Just get around that by just keep putting up. We're closing in six months. Closing in six yeah. months, just on every store, uh, closing in six months. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, oh, we again, found a way to stay open. <laughs> yeah. And and, and once again, months. it shows society crumbling because locally here in, in Southwest Florida, I mentioned on the radio earlier, and it's, 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 and it's an epidemic. Uh, yeah, well, dude, where, yeah, you know, that, that shitty little really Denny's so next to the fucking Hooters that nobody goes to anymore because it's a piss poor location. I wouldn't take that as some sort of, you know, magic sign. But really, that society but it has crumbling. survived there for over 20 years. That's my point. It has survived for 20 years. Longer than 20. Goes it's been out there of longer business. than 20. Yeah. yeah. It's been there longer than 20 years businesses mom and pop businesses are one thing it's hard enough to run a mom and pop business a franchise that again may be owned by one or two people whatever 
also hard to run, but you have a little more name recognition maybe than a than a you local do. mom and pop. You, and, but, you know, we still don't know what the reasons. We still don't know what the reasons are. I mean, it was just it's weird in that 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 Denny's Hooters combination sign just finally got replaced after Hurricane Ian, and then right. Denny's and now winds the up. Denny's uh, is, is gone. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Denny's Hooters. You so Denny's we don't know Hooters. why they closed. It could it could have been underperforming. But again, that has been, I mean, that Denny's, I don't know but, about during the day, but, but back in the day, 20 the years story. ago at night, that was that was the Denny's that the cops would always wind up showing up at because somebody's getting in a fight there. Yeah. <laughs> so, but my point is, it is that that's the way society is currently going because you have these sure. businesses that either died the slow death after after covid because they went through their reserves at, in season when they should have been making all that money to add to their reserves for in order to survive out of season and then play a lot of places closed permanently uh in that first off season after COVID. And then of course, here in Southwest Florida, the hurricane hit, which caused more businesses to close because they didn't have their reserves anymore after going through them because of COVID. And then you add on top the inflation of everything. Nobody wants to work and nobody, and people are starting to really pinch the pennies now in terms of going out and grocery store. We have that picture that uh, Ben, you play, you put up earlier, but put it up again. Now the, uh, all the inflation of what's happening, groceries up uh, 47.8% or excuse me, gasoline up 47.8%, uh, groceries up 21.1%, eating out is up uh, 21.4%, baby food, pet food, rent, electricity, national gas, used cars, airfare, public transportation, real average weekly earnings. And you see this taken four years apart, same gas station, different president. That is a huge jump. Mm -hmm. And it is the it is. problem we have never seen in these businesses are now just now starting to be lost. And it's sad to see that. And the big problem is the included, the, the ever expanding boot of the government on people's necks. Yeah. Well, again, we're just going to have to get rid of them again. <laughs> and we will. Uh, uh, they're worried now. They're scared. They're scared shitless. That's why they're acting yeah. like the maniacal bastards that they are is because they're scared shitless because they know we outnumber them and they know that we're going to kick their ass and they know yeah. that the cheating that they're going to have to try and accomplish in November is going to be so fucking huge that it's just going to look be so, so huge. Ugly. It's only going to wind up causing more problems. So it's only yeah. going to cause and more problems because, because they're going to they're going to cheat immensely it's going to be huge but the media is going to back them up so folks it's going to take people no, getting loud media. nobody's watching the media anymore only people like us I watch disagree. the media anymore i don't know any normal people that watch the fucking news anymore because it's so brazenly lot just lies I know. propaganda i know no we'll be gnawing on their skulls trust me I told you we were going to be gnawing on their skulls and we will be gnawing on their skulls. They will lose. We will destroy them. Optimism. We will win. We will win. But only. We well, need even if we don't, we're going to leave a fucking mark. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, who's your trader of the week? Well, you know, uh, I would imagine I'd have to go back and look, but I imagine that these 19 are also uh, uh, members of the 51 who said that Hunter's laptop was was real. There are <clears throat> a list of douchebags out there who, uh, regarding the president's immunity case, have submitted a brief to the Supreme Court. It says, oh, my God, he can't be he's he, he can't he, he, uh, you can't give him immunity. It's a national security issue. If you if you give him immunity, my God. Oh, geez. Oh, my golly. It'd be just dangerous if even though that this uh, has been done over. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Nixon. Nixon versus uh, Fitzgerald. I think it's in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, Nixon versus Fitzgerald, 1982. The U.S. Supreme Court has already addressed presidential immunity in several landmark cases. And these fucks yeah. are just trying to go after him again when there's already precedent here. 
they the president has immunity. The case directly addressed uh, Nixon versus Fitzgerald in 82, directly addressed presidential immunity. The Supreme Court ruled that the president is entitled to absolute immunity from civil liability for actions taken within the official duties of the presidency. This means that while in office, the president cannot be sued for damages related to official actions. But 19 douchebags are trying to get you and the Supreme Court to believe that if the president's given immunity, like every fucking president we've ever had, then there's some sort of national security issue. Admiral Steve yeah. Abbott, all these guys are retired too. Of course. Uh, Steve Abbott, Thad Allen, Coastie, uh, Army, sec former Secretary of the Army, Louis Caldera, George, General George Casey, bitch retired from the U.S. Army. G, uh, General Peter Ciccarelli, uh, Army, retired. General Carlton W. Fulford, Jr. Well, Jr. is a fucking shitty Marine, and he's retired. Michael Hayden, that little Magoo-looking fuck who used to be part uh, Air Force, and he was also, uh, uh, he was, they did 60 Minutes, did the big surveillance thing with him years ago, where the, back oh, then yeah. it was all the foreigners. Hayden's a little bitch. You see him on X every once in a while. Former Secretary of the Air Force, uh, Deborah Lee James. General John Jumper, Air Force. General Charles Krulak, uh, another fucking Marine. What's wrong with you, Marines? You traitors. Good God. Uh, Admiral Sam, Samuel Jones Locklear III, Navy. Former Secretary of the Navy, Ray Mabus, who was a pussy. Uh, General Craig McKinley, U.S. Air Force retired. Admiral John B. Nathman, never heard of him. U.S. Navy retired. Former SecNav Sean O'Keefe. Admiral Bill Owens from the Navy. Admiral Scott Swift from the Navy. General Charles F. Wald. All these guys have zero, zero, zero credibility at all. They're probably yeah. some of these. Hayden, definitely. Mabus, probably, is guilty of some of this shit that went on. So I'm terribly sorry. But again, the Supreme Court has already said the president has immunity. This whole thing that he doesn't is bullshit. And the, and the, uh, the classified info, again, again, he has ultimate, ultimate authority to classify and declassify while he is president. What he took with him, his personal papers, were declassified when he took them with him. Boom. End of fucking story. It's been like that with every president. And now all of a sudden, again, you're trying to tell me that there's somebody in government who has more authority than, uh, than a sitting president. That's what yeah. Jack Off Smith and the rest of these douchebags here in Florida are trying to make everybody believe. One, he doesn't well, have immunity that he does. Two, actually. Two, that he, do, that, he took, uh, that he violated the Espionage Act, which he didn't. That This is stuff that everybody already knows. These were rules already set. They've already been in place for every president, including Trump. Uh, Joe, by the, the sock puppet, uh, uh, what the mummified meat puppet in D.C., he, he has immunity. He has the yeah. ability to classify and declassify, but they're trying to make you believe that for some reason, some ethereal reason that we're not supposed to know, but they know, Trump is guilty and doesn't have immunity and can't classify and declassify. It's all lies. It's all bullshit. And I've fucking had enough yeah. of it. And I, I, I'd like to go, I, if I was in New York, I'd be shouting out, you know, I'd be doing the Maxine Waters. If you see any of these bastards in the in the local restaurants get in their face but i don't know any conservatives in new york city who would have the balls to do that i don't think there are any left i would yep, agree that about sums it up and it's uh it's these lawyers it's these judges it's the judges too it's been the long game since obama and probably well before all these they, judges they merchan these judges merchan that. that dude needs to be flogged <laughs> I mean, seriously, literally flogged, old school flogged, find the oldest, crustiest ship where the, uh, the bottom hasn't been cleaned. So there's nothing but sharp barnacles all underneath them and drag that fucker right underneath it. <laughs> and you know that, what flogging folks, uh Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very, very painful. Uh, <laughs> and with that, folks, we have come to an end. Thank you for watching and continuing to be a wonderful supporter of this show. Make sure you share this show with your friends who greatly appreciate it. Join our locals community. I know. <laughs>
I mean, how could you not like that? I mean, yeah. So, so folks, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And from the bunker, everybody. Here's the new American salute. <laughs> Might perhaps you recognize me? It's your favorite president. In this present crisis, government is not the solution. Hi, good night, problem. everybody. Government is the problem.